Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking all about May favorites. I have quite a bit of fashion, but I do have quite a bit of jewelry to share with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I do wanna say that it's very quite possible that some of these were in last month's favorites, but that's just how it goes. Yeah, I share with you guys what I'm currently loving in the month. I don't have any strategy behind it. I don't see what I shared last month and try and create new things. I just share what I'm currently loving and these or what I'm currently loving. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, we're gonna talk about skin. Um, this Elta MD uh, UV Elements Broad Spectrum SP44. I love this. I have had this product for a while. I picked this up on the re recommendation of Angie from Angie Hot and Flashy last November. This is my second tube. I just got it in. I just finished my first, and now I'm on to my second. It is a tinted sunscreen. Um, I love it during quarantine because I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup if I'm not filming videos. But even today, I'll I have on is this and then I have a little bit of foundation um, just in the center of my face because I filmed a video this look just before this video um, but normally I find that this is enough if I want a little more coverage I'll go in and add a, a very light natural foundation but very sparingly and the foundation that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear foundation I know this is not a new product I share it all the time uh, someone actually requested in my recent video like can you use other foundations you use, you use the same ones and I was like like, yeah, I do, don't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's just how I do it. I do what I, I use what I like, what I'm currently loving. And I, I don't know, I feel two ways about that. Like part of me is like, I do need to mix it up and share new things because how boring is it to see me use these same products all the time? I totally get it. Um, but then the other part of me is like, well, I'm using what I really like. And that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I am going to be using other products. Yes, I will. Um, but this one is one I love and I just can't get around it. These two together give the perfect natural looking coverage. You need a very small amount of this when you use it with this. Very, very good. And this also has an SPF of 25. So those, those are my two like most worn skincare and complexion products this month. Moving right along to the powder that I've been using a lot is the Lancome Long Time No Shine. It is starting to get hot here in Texas. I think we've hit 100 already. It's been in the upper 90s for the last week or two. So my skin is starting to get shiny and oily. And this is one of my favorite powders for minimizing shine, controlling oil, and looking more on the natural side. It's definitely more matte, but it doesn't look dry or heavy. And I can use it under my eyes very sparingly. I've been loving this. This is also not a new product. I've had it for over, I don't know, a year or so. Actually, this was a recommendation from Stephanie Marie here on YouTube. So, um, Thanks for sharing this with me. I love it. <laughs> okay, moving right along to two products that I've been raving about. I'm pretty sure these were my favorites last month. I've definitely talked about them a lot on Instagram and on YouTube, and it, they're both by Fenty Beauty, and they're both newer products by Fenty Beauty. Uh, her blush in the shade Petal Poppin. It's a cream blush, and I love this, you guys. It is so pretty and natural. It gives a very soft glow to the cheeks. It's very easy to work with. You can build it if you want a big, bright pop of color you can get it from this product. If you want it to be more natural, like a pink flush to this cheeks, you can also get it with this product. It's extremely versatile and very easy to use. Don't be intimidated. I actually shared on stories yesterday um, how I apply this with the other product that is part of my favorites, which is her bronzer. It's a cream bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. This is so nice too. Um, so nice. I, I I have really jumped on the cream blush bandwagon over the last six months or so, but bronzer, I haven't really done that. The only cream bronzer that I really liked was the Chanel one that they recently reformulated and I haven't tried the new formula of it, but this one is so nice. Um, this is the shade Butter Biscuit 02, and I do think that this would work well on um, shades a little bit darker than me and lighter than me as well. It's buildable, so the first application is gonna look like soft and natural, but you can build it and get more color. Um, my favorite way to apply these two is with the BK Beauty 107 brush, which I'm also including in my favorites video. What I will do is I will go in the bronzer with this and I'll use the tip of it and I will literally just press it on my skin. I'm not dragging it across the skin, I'm literally just pressing. And I'll do the same thing with the blush. I'll load the brush up 
and then I will just bounce it right on to the apples of the cheeks. It is so easy with this brush. I don't mind if I kind of flatten out the edge a bit because it just gives me the perfect um, coverage, application, if, if you will. I really, really love it. And it's more dense, so it works really well with cream products. Love it. The other BK Beauty brush that I'm loving is the BK Beauty 108 brush. This is our Precision Powder. I have loved this for a while. Since we launched this, I use it all the time, but I've discovered a new way to use this brush that I am loving. And it's not so new. I think I've talked about it recently, but uh, concealer, it works so great for applying concealer. I applied my concealer with this brush today and the concealer that I use was the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I'm not sure. My recommendation though is if you do use this brush for concealer, it works best with concealers that are a bit more full coverage and have a drier consistency. If you have a real creamy concealer, it will work, but you'll still have to go back in with your finger or a sponge or more dense brush because it will, it'll still crease. So I like to use this for drier, like tart shape cape. That would be a great one, the Milani one. Any concealer that you have that's liquid and dries really quick and has more of a matte dry texture to it, this one is great for. Okay, moving right along to three, three drugstore products that I am loving. Um, and full disclosure, this one actually, I sure hope it's available. I actually use this to create this look today. Um, and I know I'm putting in my monthly favorites, even though I just pulled it out today for the first time in months and used it, but it is, it just reminded me how much I love this palette. This is the Profusion uh, Eye and Cheek Palette. I got this from Target, uh, I don't know, a year ago. Uh, it was like $10 or under definitely under $14. It is such a great palette, you guys. I really hope that I can still find it. If not, I will link other options by Profusion. Like I said, I created this eye makeup look. A video will be up soon, if not just before this video using this palette. So, so good. This one's gonna sit on my vanity. I'm gonna use this for the next three or four weeks, I promise. I also grabbed the e.l.f. mini palette. I love this one too. This is a mini I think it's like $2.99. I think it costs $2.99 for this palette. And this is the shade uh, Cream and Sugar. I did a video using this palette a while back. I'll link it down below, but I have been using this as well this uh, month because it's so easy. It's small, compact, and it's so beautiful. Every time I wear this palette, I get so many compliments on my eyes. And I've really been dressing up my eyes lately because we're wearing masks and you can't see you know, this half of our face. So I've been really playing up my eye makeup, putting lashes on when I go out. <laughs> and I always get compliments when I wear this little guy right here. Um, this blush, pretty sure this has been in maybe the last few favorites videos. It is so darn good. It is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Mellow Mauve, and it is so pretty. It is this like mauve soft pink with the slightest bit of shimmer to it. Not super shimmery. I think it would work well on more textured or mature skin. Sometimes shimmer can accentuate texture on the skin, accentuate pores. It's more of a sheen than a shimmer. It's just gonna softly highlight those cheeks while providing a very soft, natural color. I love it. It is so, so nice. Definitely one of my favorite blushes of all time. Uh, this product I haven't yet used in a video. I've shared this on Instagram and it's a really cool product. It's by the brand Kaja. Is that how you pronounce it? I got this at the Sephora sale in April and it's, I think they're called the bouncy eyeshadows or something. And I have the shade toasted caramel and it comes with three shades. They're all very, very shimmery. That's the first one. So this is a really easy to wear little trio of shades and I will actually apply these on the eyes with my finger. Um, even though this doesn't have a matte shade in it, I'll use the darker one in the crease and I will use a blending brush for that and it still blends out really um, well. What happened to the, did I get the lighter one? Hold on, I don't think I swatched the lighter one. So those are the three shades right there. This is the middle one, the lightest one, and the darkest one. They go on the eye really well, and I will not use a primer when I wear these. That's what's really cool about these. I will just apply them with my fingertip on a uh, eyelid that is maybe prepped with a little concealer or maybe not, and they last all day. Um, really, really nice. I wanna pick, out, pick up some other shades in this for sure. Really fun kind of, if you like sparkly shadows, this is a fun one to try. I wanted to share my nail polish with you guys. It's 
chip starting to chip now, <laughs> but this has been on for about a week and it's just starting to chip at the tips. I did do a ton of dishes yesterday. I removed all of our wine glasses from our open shelving and washed them in hot water. And that's when it started to chip, but it's lasts really well. And I have pretty thin nails because I've always had gel or uh, SNS, but obviously when quarantine, I have not been getting my nails done. So this is the combo that I've been using. Um, I like the color cause it's light. It's easy when it grows out and it lasts pretty well. So I'll use the OPI Infinite Shine Primer, and then the color is by Kiera Sky in the shade Exposed. This was an Amazon find. I got this um, on Amazon. And then I will top it with the OPI Infinite Shine Gloss. And this combination, like I said, works really well. I typically wear gloves when I wash dishes, um, but if I'm washing something really quick, I usually don't. Yesterday I didn't, and that. but I think this has been on for a solid five days. So that's pretty good for a natural polish on nails that are actually thin and weak. All right, you guys, so let's move along to a few quite a few of Kendra Scott pieces that I'm excited to share with you guys. You guys um, know that I'm a Kendra Scott ambassador. She is my favorite jewelry brand and designer. I think 90% of my jewelry downstairs, my collection is all Kendra Scott. And I wanted to share some of her um, current collection pieces that I'm loving. You guys have seen them in videos. It's this these hoops right here. It's this... Um, really fun gold. It's called a vintage gold and it's very different than some of the lighter golds that you see here. Uh, so I love this collection. I love this stone. I love a good classic hoop. It's important for me that my hoops are not heavy. You know, I can't wear a heavy earring. It has to be lightweight. And these make such a statement, but they're so lightweight. So this is part of the collection. I want to show you some other pieces that came and launched with this collection. You guys saw this ring in my lip and eye and complexion series that I just did, this one right here. It is so beautiful, such a statement. It is also part of the same collection. I love it. I typically don't wear big rings, but this one, I love. I love the color of the gold, that kind of vintage look, and I love the stone, how light and neutral it is. I just think it's such a statement to wear with other pieces that are a little bit more delicate. I love, love, love this. Um, I also wanted to share the necklace that comes with this collection. It is so beautiful. It's more of a dainty necklace, which I like. And it just has that stone in the center and then a fun little tiny um, gold pendant here to match. I love how delicate the chain is and how short it is. So I wanted to share that with you as well. Um, I am wearing some other Kendra pieces and I wanted to particularly share this one as a new favorite. It is uh, a really cute pendant that is engraved with the word mom on it, which I think is my most you know prideful role in my life. Uh, this was actually a gift from Kendra Scott and I love it. I haven't taken it off since. I've gotten it. I've showered with it. I've worked out with it. Um, so I wanted to share that as well. It also comes in sterling silver, I believe as well. So I'll have all those pieces linked down below. Okay. And last, I wanted to share a couple of um, dresses that are really easy to wear, super comfortable, great for this time of the year when it's so hot. In Texas, it is so hot. <laughs> like give me all the lightweight rompers and dresses that you can find. And that's kind of what I live in. Um, the first one is actually what I have on right now. This is a romper and I will actually post a picture of the model in it so you can see what the bottom looks like, but it's just this black flutter sleeve romper. It ties. So it is shorts um, and it has a ruffle at the bottom. It's really lightweight. I wouldn't say that it's dressy, but it definitely is a bit more dressier than the other two items that I'm going to show you. This is something that I'll wear when I leave the house for whatever reason. I'm not leaving the house too much, like I'm sure most of you aren't, but when I do have things, appointments or um, things like that, and I want to put myself together. This is one that I will wear. The other two, um, I also wear outside of the house, but I also wear them a lot at home because they're so comfortable. The first is this, um, uh, is this called a shift dress? It's cotton and it's just this black kind of um, t-shirt material type of uh, dress. Last time I checked, this was sold out, but I know that the loft constantly refreshes their inventory and they're always having a sale. So hopefully this one is on sale. I have a petite small, um, and it's just got this fun little kind of like ruffle tiered. It's like a tiered ruffle dress, really, really comfortable, really airy. I've been wearing this a ton. If you ever see me on stories, chances are I'm wearing that or I'm wearing this. This is a really fun square neck chambray dress. This was actually what I wore in my, um, videos that I did the eyes, cheeks, and lip series. Uh, this also has a fun little ruffle on the bottom. It's got a square neck. I love this color of this chambray. It's just very like light and soft. I got a small petite in this as well. I either, 
either find that I'm an extra small in the loft or I'm a small petite. Um, and I like to go with petites when I can because they're just shorter on me and I'm tiny, I'm like 5'2 in height. So I'm tiny this way. Uh, so I always like to go with a shorter length, but I love these. They're just, they're so comfortable, but you still feel put together. I think the first part of quarantine, I lived in pajamas or yoga pants that first month or six weeks. And now I'm really kind of over that hump. I'm trying to get myself dressed, put myself together each day, not every day, but I do like and feel more productive and better. And my mood is lifted when I have put myself together. So I have been getting dressed. <laughs> um, but that wraps up my May favorites, you guys. I would love to hear what you guys are loving. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Actually, no, I have one more item and I don't have it here because it's heavy and it's not heavy, but it's downstairs with a lot of pieces. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been loving this. It's my new juicer. Um, gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. My, uh, I bought a new juicer maybe three weeks ago. Um, I started seeing a wellness coach about three or four weeks ago, just trying to kind of, um, what, how should I say this? Not necessarily clean up my diet because I eat pretty healthy, but I had just gotten in a rut for a while uh, with food and um, being too restrictive. And I just felt like I don't have, I didn't have a really healthy mindset when it comes to diet nutrition. I've always like been like, I'm going to diet and then I'm going to, you know, cheat. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to just be healthy and find foods that make me feel good and eat foods that, you know, make me feel good inside. And I think that the physical part of that is a result of just treating your body well and eating more vegetables and fruits and plant-based and cutting out a lot of the things that um, I've eaten my whole life. So I started seeing her and one thing that she recommended was a juicer. So I don't know anything about juicing. I was a little nervous and intimidated by it to be honest because it sounds like a lot of work and I didn't want to buy something that I wasn't going to use. Um, I didn't want to just buy some expensive appliance that just sits on my counter and I never use, but I also didn't want to buy um, one of the less expensive options. I felt like if I'm going to do this and I'm going to juice every day, like I want to, I want a nice quality piece of equipment. So she recommended one, um, and I purchased it and I love it. I love it. I'm actually going to do a video kind of what I eat in the day. That's more plant-based to share with you guys. I've been eating this way for about three weeks and it has been amazing. I feel so, so good. I cannot tell you how great I feel. Um, so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys soon, but my juicer is, I love it. I love it. I use it every day. I wake up in the morning and I make celery juice. I do two whole stalks of celery and, and it makes a full glass of celery juice. I'll drink that on an empty stomach. And then 30 minutes later is when I'll start my day and I'll have coffee or breakfast or whatever. Um, and then not every day, but I would say three or four days out of the week, I'll make another juice that day. Um, I'll mix kale, apple, pears, carrots, beets, um, jalapeno. And it is so fun. It is a little bit of work. It does take some time, but I thought that if there's ever a point in my life where I have time at home to do this, it is right now. So that has been definitely my favorite purchase of the month. I've been cooking a lot. I've really been taking the time to prepare my meals in a way that um, is focused on like quality ingredients and health at the forefront and not just convenience. You know, we, I just, I'm going on a tangent here, you guys. I know I told you I just let you go and <laughs> I'm going on a tangent. But if this interests you at all, let me know in the comment section below because I would love to share a video um, more about kind of my journey and, and what led me to um, kind of learn more about this. Uh, but, you know, this whole quarantine has made me realize how busy we were before this, how busy we were and how much like we had just fallen in this rut of convenience food throw something together quick. I mean, you know, I'm not faulting that because we're just doing what we have to do to get through the day, right? But I realized like, man, I'm not cooking the type of meals that I want to feed my kids. I don't know. I just wanted, I just want them to, and myself too, I want us to, uh, you know, have a really good relationship with food and nutrition and eat the right things and not just you know, so concerned with calories or carbs or sugar or all of that. Cause that's kind of where my mindset has always been. And I'm really trying to shift away from that and eat things that do good for my body inside. So that was a tangent. Didn't mean to go on that, but clearly you can see that it's something that um, I've really been loving, enjoying and learning about it this last month. So Okay, that wraps up my May favorites, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next uh, video. Bye.